predictions. Pat. Uh, this goes to what you've been saying. I think there's going to be some kind of military action between the United States and or Israel and Iran in October of this year, because those folks on the Persian Gulf who came to Washington to recognize Israel, they didn't do this simply for a good trade deal. But I think they want to line up with the Americans and the Israelis in what they see coming, which could be a major military collision with Iran and the Middle East. That's, that's, we'll have to cover that. That's a, you might be right about that. Eleanor. Well, that would be, a, a, that would qualify as an October surprise, I guess. <laughs> yes, uh, would. Yep. yes uh, it would, Eleanor. <laughs> yes, and, uh, uh, because maybe the one that, uh, that uh, the Trump was counting on is fizzling out, and that is the um, investigation by John Durham, the U.S. attorney. His lead uh, prosecutor resigned uh, uh, amid questions of political uh, interference. And uh, so whatever comes out of there is gonna have a taint about it. But hey, I, I think we've got, <laughs> we've got a lot of surprises ahead before we get to November 3rd. Kaylee. Well, I think that this is kind of a post um, election prediction, but I think that if Trump were to win reelection, I think you'll see several top members of the administration leave. Would not surprise me at all if Education Secretary Betsy DeVos left or Attorney General Bill Barr. Um, would not surprise me if they didn't decide to stay on an additional four years, but obviously Trump would have to win for that to happen. Okay, Clarence. Well, this, this past week, President Trump was uh, waging a new war against blue states, saying that the, that they have this, this rapidly rising uh, coronavirus rate. Actually, the uh, 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 the, the biggest rises that are occurring in, in red states here in the last few days. I think if uh, we continue to see this cultural divide over masks, uh, we're going to see even more of a of a rise in red states. I'm not hoping for that to happen; quite the opposite. But uh, President Trump is, is uh, waging a war against science. Okay, on, on the October surprise foreign policy front, I predict that there is a good chance that Secretary of State Mike Pompeo may visit Taiwan before the election, which would be a big deal in the sense that it might end up with a war for an invasion of Taiwan. So we will see on that count. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. We will see you next week.